Try finding one of the 27 million Ghanaians who is not a John Mensah fan. Capped 91 times for his country, the young centre-half who left for Europe, played in Italy and then Champions League football in France, is now back home training for a possible move to the East. This is just one of the many reasons why I love this job. I mean, how often can you say you've played in the middle of Ghana and gone up against one of the greatest defenders in footballing history, John Mensah, the Rock of Gibraltar? It doesn't get any better than this. I'm going to see if... Get the ball! Sorry, coach. Playing his first professional game in Europe at the age of 19, John's positioning and awareness earned him the title of top player in French football. Hard to match. Game too slow. Jonathan, keep up with the pace. Leg over, leg over, leg over, John. At one club, John Mensah conceded less than a goal a game, and Jonathan had just learned why. Where's the ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> right, brother. You've achieved so much in your career. It's just so cool to see you giving back to Ghana and Ghanaian football. So okay. anytime hey. I come back home, I used to train with them. And uh, they were also excited or happy to see me playing with them because uh, they are youth coming and they also uh, want to learn a lot of things from us to know how to comport themselves. There's such a great story behind that Rock of Gibraltar nickname. Uh, it's my godfather who prescribed the name for me. He always knows that I'm strong in the defense. That's why I gave him the Rock of Gibraltar. At the age of 18, John helped Ghana to the finals of the 2001 World Youth Championships, and coach John Welbeck has watched him excel since then. Well done, well done. You left me out there too long, man. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> hey, this, this John's a legend. Eh? We, are, oh, we love him. Coach, you've known John for a while. John has been a very good friend of mine. We are, I'm always with the big guys. Myself, I uh, used to play, so it's like I'm always with the, uh, the old soccer players, the legends, so that's how we get to know each other. Mensa is a product of the scouting system that identifies talented Ghanaians to play in Europe. Ramsey Tete and Tarek Musalem hope to follow his lead. Guys, there's two talented youngsters coming up in the soccer system in Ghana. What's it like having John as a mentor? It's a very great opportunity. Since I was young, I used to watch him, especially in the 2010 World Cup. He was amazing. Having him here is a very great opportunity. I, I really admire him very much. And now having him here to train with us is amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to have a player like John Misa in our team. Through him, you have been able to learn a lot. I've acquired a lot from him. And through him, I hope when I get to South Africa, I'll be able to do the kind of training that he has taught me and how to respect on the field, outside the field, and how to lead a team. Jonathan wasn't going to miss out. Okay, brother, let's switch things around now. You're not defending anymore. I'm defending, and I want some tips from the best. You're going to come towards me. What must I do to stop you from getting to that goal? Oh, okay. Well, for example, when you are defending like this, I yeah. can beat you. Is it? Yeah, easy. Yeah, but you have to stand like that. Like, my yeah, strong foot yeah, forward. Yeah, because if I come here, yes. you have the right foot to come. Okay. And if I go here too, you can turn easily. Okay. But if you stay, yeah, if you stay like straight this. like this, if yeah. I go that like, before you turn, I'm off balance. You're, or I can pass the ball through yes. under your okay. legs like this. Don't take it easy on me. Go full. <laughs> I want to tackle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well I feel like I just scored in the World Cup. That was good. <laughs> you, see, you can't it's, pass. It's so intimidating yeah. coming up against the side. You know what the thing about you is? No. Is when the Oaks, they fear you even yeah. before they've got you. So yeah. I look, I'm looking up and I'm dribbling and I'm already scared. Yeah. And then I get to you and my, my terror is at such a high level, you lose the ball anyway. Yeah. <laughs> John captained Ghana to an impressive quarter-final finish at the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It confirmed yet again the faith his godfather, the very reverend Joseph Bright Kwashi, has in him. Love it, love it. Reverend Kwashi, tell me, what was John like growing up as a child? John, right from the beginning, a birth. He was a child of dynamism and enthusiasm, filled with vigor and hope. I personally knew he was going to read the skies. He grew in peace, very humble, very calm, cool and collected, and uh, very obedient. Was there a moment when you knew that he was destined to play soccer? The, f the first day I saw him, he came with one of his tutors, and I saw in him, even the way he walked, his movement, I saw directly that there was talent hidden in him talent of soccer prowess. I prophesy that even one day he'll play for the national team. But I saw the talent in him. 
John, I was there at the 2010 World Cup shouting for you with all the other South Africans. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced before, that atmosphere. I can only imagine what it must have been like for you as players and for a nation as a whole. The whole Africans were supporting us behind us, but South Africa's support was massive. It was so great because uh, when we are going to the stadium, we can see the South Africa flags, Ghanaian flags, or uh, the stadium there, we can see also Vuzela. It was amazing. We were so happy about South Africans, and we, we tried to make them proud that we will get something from South Africa once we are hosting the World Cup in Africa. And I understand that you're the man responsible for giving him that famous nickname. You know the rock of Gibraltar? The rock is impervious, impenetrable, and uh, uh, it's difficult to penetrate. And uh, because whenever he was playing the defense, he captured the entire defense. So I said, uh, no, 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 you are just like the rock of Gibraltar. Because to an invading force to penetrate the Gibraltar and get the, into the city would be difficult. John, it's so hard to believe that you're only 32 years old and you've already achieved all these incredible things in your career. What tips would you give to all those youngsters coming up in the ranks that are watching you and thinking, I want to be like that one day? The moment you do the hard work, hard training, every time, the fitness, everything will come. And at the same time, you have to be disciplined. So you respect your team, respect your colleagues and your coach. And the fans as well, because the fans are the people who come to the stadium to cheer for us. We don't need to pray for money. The moment you are praying, the moment you keep on playing, the star is coming. The money will come to your way. Don't rush for money. Just keep on focusing for what you are doing. The money will come then. What does life after football entail for John Mensah? After the football, I'll, I'll, I prefer to do a, a ministry. And like minister, I like a pastor in the church. Nah, it's awesome. I love it. Because I like God so much. I, I adore Jesus a lot. Without Jesus, I cannot do what I can do and I uh, cannot perform like the way. And from everything I do, I always worship God, ask for the protection and for the help, the help from God. And then I thank God for God make me be like the rock of the water I am like this time. So um, maybe I'll be in a pastor. I'd prefer to be a pastor in church. As a defender of the faith or on the pitch, they don't come more solid than John Mensah.